At the VCU School of Pharmacy, our primary goal is to send pharmacists out into the working world prepared to fill their role as healthcare professionals who are both dependable and accessible and prepared to improve health outcomes for the patients they serve. That preparation starts right here in the classroom where critical thinking is the primary focus. What we're trying to do here and what we're seeing across in pharmacy education is providing the resources to have our pharmacists be inquisitive pharmacists. Looking at where are problems, what is wrong with this particular situation and how can I fix it? Rather than simply taking orders and they're thinking critically and analytically, uh, synthesizing information into problem solving. VCU pharmacy students have a unique opportunity working in tangent with the VCU health system and a network of hundreds of dedicated preceptors across the state of Virginia, pharmacy students are exposed to real-world and real-time medicine. They can see the translation from bench to bedside, from the classroom to patient interaction. It is, uh, you know, clinically leaning. Uh, I have taught, you know, I've taught in different schools both in the United States and in Britain and I think that VCU or MCV VCU is unique because of the partnership between the school and the hospital. It means that people get a particularly relevant education. Well hi my name's Tana. I'm the hi, pharmacist and I'm going to be giving you your flu shot. Okay. VCU School of Pharmacy graduate Tana Kafer is living a lifelong professional dream. A pharmacist and clinical coordinator for an innovative long-term care and outpatient pharmacy, Tana says her experience at VCU School of Pharmacy gave her the real-world experience and confidence to succeed in a forward-thinking, innovative pharmacy. Lots of different positions in the different arenas of pharmacy, and I think that VCU does a good job of introducing pharmacy students to the different arenas earlier in their curriculum, um, and I think that's great. Um, and they really, with their um, rotations, they have excellent sites to choose from um, to kind of see what these innovators in pharmacy are doing. It really it's what makes this a medical campus. We have all the disciplines represented between medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, nursing. So all the interactions that could possibly occur in the uh, healthcare setting are occurring even at a student level. They have that opportunity to interact with other disciplines. And in some cases for um, the APPEs, it's the interactions in a setting that will be uh, very analogous to real world. I work here in the cardiovascular intensive care unit. We also have a step down unit, so that comprises 22 beds. And then I also have uh, 12 patients in the CCU, so 34 beds in all. And a lot of what I learned at VCU uh, School of Pharmacy, just with our fourth year rotations, and then I progressed on to residency, has really prepared me to be in this critical care setting. There are two key elements to graduating accomplished pharmacists good teaching, and state-of-the-art technology. The tools of the trade must be the most advanced in the business. The labs are state-of-the-art. Uh, I have been around to many different pharmacy schools, and I can tell you without a doubt, and I'm not saying it because I'm dean here, I have not seen a better laboratory for teaching our students how to think. And one additional resource that we have available is our new classroom, which is Smith 225. That classroom was designed for small group collaboration and it uses Medscape technology, which allows students to sit together at a table, bring their laptops, connect their laptops, and share their presentations. And so to have a classroom designed for small group collaboration really um, allows students to get together, bump their elbows together, and work on group assignments. So I think it really helps. Um, and it allows us to do more with small groups in um, our team-based learning environment.